Hey, what's going on, CoinUp TV subscribers? Robert Walkney here. In this video, I want to talk about the show For All Mankind, episode four on Apple TV Plus. The episode is called Prime Crew, and we're gonna talk some spoilers, some details. If you want to know what I think about For All Mankind without spoilers, check out my review of episodes one, two, and three, which I'll put a link to that in the description below. So let's get into it. I got my notes. Let's talk some specifics and some thoughts. So the episode four starts off with the fallout from Patty's death. If you missed episodes three, right at the end, Patty passes away in a, uh, a shuttle pod, not a shuttle, like a uh, an operation there with a test operation where they're trying to like figure some stuff out. She's flying and crashes. And uh, I guess people are sort of speculating that because she was a helicopter pilot, she didn't have the reaction to sort of hit the eject like an airplane pilot might have. Uh, some of that stuff is, is a little, uh, you know, unclear and uh, people are basically um, upset, moved, emotional, it's in the news. Um, it's it's hitting everybody dramatically and uh, the uh, the four female characters left over are, are sort of, you know, hanging out in a bar and they're having a drink and Joel Kinnaman's character is, um, smashes his phone up like uh, Robert De Niro in some of his movies and gets upset and his wife has to sort of calm him down. And uh, so we sort of see some of, uh, some of that, but um, I, that still feels a little rushed to, to me, how that all sort of went down. I feel like we needed some more space for that to, to breathe. There's a scene with a uh, uh, character playing John Glenn and uh, he comes in to have a meeting with Deke. Deke is the guy sort of running NASA now, I think. Um, and uh, John Glenn tries to uh, convince Deke to throw in the towel on the, the new program with the female astronauts and even suggesting that the females aren't really cut out for the Call of Duty there, for the mission. And uh, so there's some, you know, gender equality moments in uh, that scene. And uh, what happens is I think this conversation kind of uh, interjects or puts a little fire under Deke and uh, and a couple scenes later, he sort of makes an announcement saying, okay, here, here's our four female candidates that we're gonna put into the space program and we're gonna actually make it happen. Doesn't really clear it through the presidency or the higher ups and just kind of goes, all right, you know what? You're making me do this. I'm gonna go for it, uh, full steam ahead. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it work. So, so that's what we get. We get to the press conference and then the uh, four ladies that he chooses, or it's pretty much the the remainder of what's left from the training. Tracy Stevens, of course, my, my favorite character on the show. Molly, Ellen, and Danielle. And uh, so they're going to be like the four, you know, sort of training along with Molly being, I guess, the lead of those four getting, getting plucked into the next official mission to Mars. So then we get a scene really kind of delving a little more into the effects of Patty's death and how they affect Edward's character played by Joel Kinnaman. Uh, he's, uh, we get a scene where he's showing his kid how to ride a bike and he's sort of bossing him around and the kid's not listening or following or able to adapt and he gets a little frustrated with that. And I, I think the intention of the scene is to show Edward's character like feeling guilt that he wasn't able to train uh patty correctly and 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 that's what caused the death but but again more rush scenes and you know could have used some better coverage and editing and music swelling or something like that to really hone in on on this point that i'm trying to that i think the show is trying to make there so that was that was a little disappointing i mean we we do get a lot more ed character development with uh, with the kid and the wife and his reaction to things and um, how he's going to be, uh, you know, the, the lead of the, the next mission to the moon or, or the first landing on the moon for the USA. You know, the, the Russians, you know, they, heck, they've already been there, you know, and a couple times it seems like. So uh, the thing about it, here, here's kind of a complaint, though, I have with For All Mankind is the show kind of wavers back and forth between the male protagonists and the female protagonists. It sort of seems very divided, like split down the middle. I feel like that's kind of a weakness of the show. I feel like they should have either had it been the male protagonist or the female, or at least figured out a clever, smart way to intertwine things better instead of the separation that, that it seems. Maybe it's just the way the show is put together or edited, but it just seems like 
one episode is going to be the female episode and then the next episode like this episode is more like the male episode with uh, with ed's character and joel came in and deke uh kind of running the ship and steering things so um I, I feel like this is a weakness of the show that that it really becomes obvious and i wish that that would have been intertwined um a little more clever a little more um uh, you know, not not so obvious, you know, to the to the uh, you know the casual watcher like like myself, the casual watcher analyzing, you know, every minute of the show here. So, uh, the episode ends with the actual launch of the Apollo with uh, Ed, Molly, and some guy. I didn't write his name down. Uh, this launch feels completely rushed. I mean, we we get right to the launch. We don't get any uh, interaction with the the command center, the command base. We, 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 I feel like we just kind of ran ideas or ran out of budget or something here. It's like, this is a moment. Uh, throwing a few people in a shuttle, spaceship going up to the moon is a big deal. You can't just rush it along. And um, it feels like that's kind of what happened there. There is kind of the little subplot with the Hispanic family and the daughter traveling to go watch this. And then I was watching that thinking like, what is the payoff of this going to be? There's a lot of time being spent on this. What's this payoff? I'd rather see more, more NASA stuff, really. Uh, you know, it's really weird how they just kind of jumped ahead and boom, they're, they are, they're launching off into uh, space. So um, episode four, if you're not catching my drift, episode four was a disappointment. And episode three, I thought was really starting to lift things up and, and get good. So I thought, you know, hey, episode four is going to be amazing, but... Wasn't, wasn't really the case. It was disappointing. Um, some positives, some more positives, though. Episode 4 had less of the fake President Nixon stuff, so that was refreshing. Uh, less of the fake news and things like that. So right at the end, Nixon calls up Deke, and he's like, Yo, Molly messes up. It's your ass on the line. And then kind of hangs up, click. It's like a in-your-face kind of moment there. So um, we'll see what happens. You know, the, we're on the fence with Molly. She's, she seems smart. She seems bright, intelligent. But it seems like there's some things that she's getting distracted on or she's missing and everybody's kind of worried if she's going to punch in the right code or not. Uh, that seems to be the, the critical thing there. A lot of, uh, you know, whether or not that's going to happen. So um, so some other things happen in the show. We get to see some more behind the scenes things with some of the characters. I just wanted to kind of write down some of the, the big moments of the episode to talk about. Uh, again, like I said, episode four kind of went on a, a dip down for me. I'm hoping five, six, seven, eight are gonna go up and finish strong. We'll see how it goes. We got some, some astronauts in space now for the US team. We'll see if they make it to the moon. Uh, that's it for this video. If you guys are brand new, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm reading those comments. And um, you know, give the, the, give the thumbs up too as well. I feel like I'm hitchhiking when I do that. We're doing a dance move, but uh, thanks so much for watching for Coin TV. We'll see you guys next time.